everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Sorry for the mess. I'm in the middle of a project that I'm hoping to share with you in a few days, but I just ran into an issue with my Elgoo Saturn, and it made me think of a question that someone asked me over on Twitter. Maker's Niche hit me up on Twitter asking, hey, Uncle Jesse, pinhole in the FEP. No replacements and need to finish a print. Will this get me through or too risky? Some clear packaging tape is what he had a picture of. Now, I honestly have no idea if that would work, but I also have now, just after a failed print, ran into an issue where I was noticing the center of my FEP sheet is starting to wear through. So I figured I'd give this a test. But before I run off and slap down a piece of clear packaging tape on the FEP to cover up that pinhole, I figured I'd give you just a few quick things to test out to see if you're running into an issue with an FEP sheet. You can really easily test to see if your vat has a hole in its FEP sheet and is leaking resin during your printing process by simply taking your vat, sitting it on top of a paper napkin here, and then taking a cup of water and pouring it into your vat. You can now let this sit for a minute or two and then see if there are any wet spots on the paper towel underneath the vat after you lift it up. That will help give you an indicator of where the vat might be leaking and if you need to replace it or not. I should also mention that it'll make your life a little bit easier if you don't put the paper towel down on top of a somewhat already existing wet surface here, like my Wham Bam slap mats. The good news is I'm not really seeing any leakage coming from my, my vat as it is. Well, since my FEP isn't leaking just yet, let's uh, do something really stupid like poking a small hole all the way through it. Yeah, this is probably a really dumb idea. I would not recommend doing this. I could more than likely get a good bit more prints out of this before needing to replace this FEP sheet. But before the sake of science and testing here with you guys, I'm gonna poke a hole all the way through it. God, ah, that hurt to do that. So let's try our paper towel test again now that I've poked a hole through the FEP with this cup of water. And hopefully we should see a little bit of leakage popping through on the center. About, that's where, about where the uh, the pinhole was that I punctured through the FEP. Another thing you can do is take one of your plastic spatulas and just, yep, there we go. You can run it along the FEP and see if there's any wet spots that appear as you push along it. So as soon as I went over that area where the hole was, you can start to see it expand and leak through. So it more than likely just periodically drip and leak through onto my, directly onto my screen. Now I never really recommend doing this, but if you're in a pinch and you don't have any replacement FEP sheets on hand and you need to get some prints out of the way, this might be something worth trying. So let's see how it works for me. I'm gonna take a piece of clear tape here, as clear as I have on hand. I don't have any HD clear that they were using. So here's the pinhole area on the back of the FEP. And let's make sure it is as secured down as I possibly can in that area. So I've taped it on. I've got about a one inch by one inch square there of tape that I've placed all around that and I've pushed it in as best I can. Now, one thing I'm making sure to do is putting it on the back side of the FEP, not on the inside. I have a feeling that if I put it on the inside, it would just come loose from all of the liquid, touching, getting in contact with it and slowly pulling it away. Here on the back side, there's a much better chance of it staying in place. So let's try our water test here first before I decide to ruin my Saturn screen. All right, let's pour back in some water and I'll use the spatula here to swish the water around a little bit and we'll see if it leaks through. It's not leaking through, so that's looking pretty promising, but there is a lot more pressure and force applied to this FEP sheet as the printer is printing. Also, if you do end up getting resin on your screen here, I highly recommend these plastic razor blades. You can find these on Amazon. I did a video a handful of months ago on this that you'll find a link up in the corner if you haven't seen that already. But these are really, really helpful when it comes to removing any cured resin that might end up back on your screen. All right, you can see the tape is applied to the vat that I have here inside my Saturn, so there's no camera trickery or anything like that. And today I'm gonna to be printing with some of this Elgu blue ABS-like resin. I have not printed with this before, but it looks like it is going to be 
a really fun color to print with. So I'm gonna print a full build plate of minis from Loot Studios and we'll see what the results look like. All right, so three and a half hours later, the prints have finished. And as far as I can tell, everything's printed properly here. Uh, with the prints, I wasn't expecting any print failures or anything like that. Uh, all of these miniatures from Loot Studios printed great here on the Saturn. I'm gonna flex plate them off. We'll take a look at them here in just a moment. But what we're really interested in seeing is the results from the actual vat here and if there was any leakage onto the screen. And fingers crossed that tape did its job. Ta-da, and it's looking good. I'm not seeing any leakage or spillage other than what was already there on the screen, my, my somewhat clean screen. All right, so let me flex these prints off the build plate here just to confirm. But these were all miniatures that are come pre-supported from Loot Studios. Uh, my wham bam slap mat here, or the, excuse me, the flex plate worked as, uh, as expected. This is my go-to here for getting my prints off very quickly and easily and not really seeing any issues. I wasn't entirely sure if the square piece of tape was gonna cause any issues with the prints and the light passing through it. All of the leftover resin, just pouring it right back in there and you can see from the back that the tape is still intact. I'm just going to, again, run this through. That is fantastic to see. It doesn't look like there was any leakage whatsoever with the FEP sheet here that I had punctured a hole through it. So this does look like it actually works. I wouldn't really recommend this as a permanent solution for you, but it's a way that you can, you know, keep printing with your machine until you get a replacement sheet in hand so that you can swap it out and get fully back up and running. Now, the question I have is, what if I keep printing with it? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a much larger print that's gonna run overnight here on the machine and we'll check it out in the morning here quickly before we wrap this video up. All right, seven hours later and the prints have finished. These are the 75 millimeter versions of some Loot Studio prints here and everything printed, it looks like great. I ended up running out of resin, not enough of the blue to do this full print. So I ended up mixing the mint green and the blue together. And I think it produced a really wonderful mix of the two resin colors. All right, fingers crossed, the resin did not leak out of this seven hour long print with the tape held on the bottom. And it looks good. So I'm not seeing any leaking through the tape, which is great. I am seeing some puckering here where that puncture hole was. So again, this isn't a permanent solution for any sort of minor holes that you might encounter in your FEP sheets, but it's a great temporary solution that you can run with and it works. I mean, I'm a little surprised at how well it worked. How long will this be able to go? I'm not really sure. I'm gonna be going through the process of swapping out the FEP sheet after I'm done with this video, but I wanted to say a huge thank you to today's video sponsor. Thanks again to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. They're the makers of the Elgu Saturn, which I was printing on today, as well as the Elgu Mars. And there's a new Mars coming out here in the upcoming months. They're also the makers of this beautiful, and I do mean beautiful, mint green and blue ABS-like resin that I was printing with in today's video. Elgu also sells replacement FEP sheets for the Elgu Saturn and the Mars series of resin 3D printers. If you're interested in picking up some of that resin, I'll have links down below where you can find that over on their Amazon shop. A huge thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. I also want to mention a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters and your continued support with the videos that I'm making here on the channel. If you're interested in finding out more information about my Patreon and how you can help support me and my projects, you can find links to the Patreon down below. So if you end up with a pen size hole in your FEP sheet and are in a pinch, this clear packaging tape trick will work. For how long? I don't really know, but I was able to get about 10 hours worth of printing off of this before replacing the FEP sheet. But let me know in the comments if you have any other suggestions on what you could potentially do if you're running into issues with your FEP sheet before fully changing it out. I thought this clear packaging tape idea was a quick and easy and effective solution. Hey, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.